Again. Brody tells time at a sundial. But you're checking the temperature. <laughs> right. But That's not a the thermometer. thermometer but there's a device. ball in. Anybody else excited for the nice weather? Oh, yeah. my gosh. So excited. Now, so, okay. How nice what's are we your, talking? Uh, what's your idea of nice weather? Oh. Okay, so here it's getting into the 50s, I think. Almost 60 today. this no. weekend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Saturday, 50, 60 degrees. What, 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 what? 58 yes. degrees? 58? Yeah, something like that. Nice. Well, this is like the false spring, right? This always happens yeah. right yes. in the middle of February. We get this pop, everyone gets happy, and then bam, yeah. we get yeah. annihilated again. There's snow on Saturday night. Shut there up. Yeah. How is that possible? How can it drop it's that gonna drastically? Be like, it's going to be like 56 degrees on Saturday and then all the way down to 30. And it's oh, supposed to, it's now, like rain or snow. Just pop our bubble right yeah. <laughs> Asshole. You know, I remember as a kid growing up in Erie, Pennsylvania, where we had snow one year that started in September and we didn't see grass again until May. I remember that first day above 50 degrees. Oh. My brothers and I were outside in fucking shorts and yep. that's, that's tank what tops. Right. <laughs> Everybody's pale as anything in yeah. their tank tops and shorts on that first Running day. around, muddy-ass backyard. <laughs> it's funny. Not that. me. When my I'm... mom always used, because I'd be like, it's 60. I can wear shorts. When I lived in Ohio, right. and my mom would be like, that's what the white kids do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she was You're right. going to be she cold. Yep. She was right. <laughs> right. Mom's right. When I lived in South Florida, it was 80 all the time. So if it dropped in, yeah. if it was 60, I, I wore long yep. pants. Where yesterday here, it's been really cold. And as far as, you know, Florida standards go, it's been in the 30s every single night. So yesterday it was going to be 58 and sunny. I wore shorts yesterday. I couldn't wait to get outside. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, the times have changed. I'm like, you know what? When we see the sunshine, I'm happy. Yep. When Hell the, yeah. The year I got married, the we I got married March 15th, the week before we had a massive snowstorm. It was it, one of those crazy ones. Then the day I got married, it was 60 degrees. It was so wonderful. Yep. I'm like, this is great. <laughs> but that's how weird the weather is around mm-hmm. here. You're right, you know? though, Frog and Gandhi, about like the South Florida and Southern California. California thing, it mm-hmm. gets gets below like sixty five, and you see all the, the the women putting on their fur coats and their <laughs> puffer jackets and their UGG boots. I'm oh, like, I wonder if thing? some of that is Loved because it. they don't ever get to wear it. So that's, that's yes, it. this is going to be my opportunity. Not that they really of feel they need it. Of course it is. No, that's what we it did. Is. It was more like fashion. Oh, I get to wear my puffer coat now and my earmuffs and my hat, and I get to walk around with a hat on all day because we have outside classes. It was great. Mm. It. Frog, I know you don't need one, but do you own a winter jacket? Yeah. I needed one the other. I mean, listen, it gets into the 20s here. We had a night uh, yeah. two weeks ago. It was 26. So, I mean, it gets it gets cold here. And then earlier this week, the highs were in the 40s and it was rainy. So, I mean, we, we have cold days and you do need but jackets. But wait, you did not own a jacket when we went to Alaska because you borrowed all your warm clothes when we went to Alaska. Correct. I own a warmer jacket now. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey, My dad lives in Tampa. Yes. Yeah. Does your does your dad finally have a winter jacket? <laughs> does he have a winter jacket? He so he came to Columbus. He went to Columbus to see my sister and everyone for Thanksgiving. And his mission was to buy a winter coat for when he returned to Tampa. And he ended up buying one, which is this giant Carhartt. And he was lamenting to me the other day that he can't wear it. I said, Dad, you took a Carhartt to the equator. What did you expect to do with that thing? <laughs> oh, it gets cold here. It's in the forties, but he can't. It's it's too much for him. So, uh, yeah. speaking of being cold in Alaska, I still don't have any heat. So, still, oh, really? Yeah, yeah that cu- guy's coming tomorrow. So I had to change companies, but I got a good deal. So I don't want to be that cu- customer service rep. <laughs> no. Brody calls. Now, are, no. And now, are you are you actually holding out for the heat an extra couple of days to save money? Could you, or could you have gotten your no, heat no. back earlier in the week for more? Oh no, 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 price? no, no. I'm 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 smart with my money, but I'm not that stupid. No, Friday's the earliest I could possibly get. Uh, I mean, these guys wow. have, they're all booked up this time of year. So so you I don't have a, a supplemental heat source. Well, so uh, my be- so I have uh, multi-levels here. So the top, we put an addition on the house. The t- the upper level, the bedroom level has heat. But I, I can't do the podcast from up there. So uh, I'm down here in the den where it's freezing. How cold so is everyone, you know? half of my house. So is everyone sleeping in the same room, like huddled up? No, and no, stay we, have, warm? we have, they all have their own bedrooms with heat. It's just the... The kitchen, dining room, um, living room, and this den area, and the basement where I podcast with Skiri, oh, no heat. So I'm, I'm how cold freezing is it? down Do you here know? right now. Do you know how cold it is in there? Uh, I'm no? afraid to check, but it, feel, it feels like about 15 degrees. It's Ooh, like 20 degrees. That's cold. It feels like. Yeah, yesterday I had a coat on. I'm trying not to so put hold a on. coat so on. So if you put a glass of water there, it would freeze? Is that cold? That's how it feels. I'll, you know what? I have a th- I'll, I'll check. I have a thing that, that I'll, I'll try to check. Damn, the thermometer? No, I have a thing that like little things float. 
it floats depending on the temperature and it tells you it's not a thermometer. That's why I didn't use the word thermometer, smart ass. It's, a, it's, a, <laughs> it's some kind of weather tube that has floaty things in it. And where they float tells you the temperature. You know, Isn't a little duck job done too, though? Isn't a little duck that does like if I had a thermometer. Yes, Brody I walk around with a thermometer. That you are never going to rip on him that he's not going to fucking defend That's himself. That's right. He's like, I think the word you're looking for is barometer yeah. there, Brody. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's not. It's not a barometer. I'm not checking bari- barometric pressure. Again. Brody tells time at a sundial. But you're checking the temperature, <laughs> right? But not with a thermometer. thermometer but there's device. a ball in there that moves, like mercury would move in a no, thermometer. It's, it's, but it's, it's not. Like colored, it's like colored floaty things. Brody it's measures not, the shadow of the day name, and finds out the what time it is. <laughs> Can you just scary, the use the house phone. Doesn't a thermostat just tell you? The thermostat yeah. is off because the furnace is off, Scott. Right, but I mean, 99% of thermostats have a thermometer on it to tell you what the temperature is right there. <laughs> Froggy, are you, are you okay? okay? <laughs> <laughs> scary, just, scary being an asshole is funny. I'm sorry. He's never, here's why. He the rest of us are assholes all the time. Scary's the one that's not. Scary is generally very nice and caring and doesn't want to be wow. mean to people. But then when he turns it on, it's so rare that it just makes Wait, I can't get over it. Yes, a- but Froggy, nobody laughs harder at himself than he does. Yeah. <laughs> he makes me laugh, too. I mean? mean, I was a dick to well, Scary earlier today, right. and he wasn't even mean to me about right. it. Right, that's just my point. Like, is that- you were the <laughs> biggest dick. She did made a dick. She, dude, that was a dick move. Uh, she- I will say that was a dick move. Yeah. But, did, did but, anyone but, guess, but Does anyone want to guess what she did? But you did it first. I do remember But I did it first yes. a week and a half ago. Does anybody you know did what it? Yeah. So what she was do? saving it up. And Wait. as I always say, revenge is a dish best served cold. So I waited. So what she did was she gave away the <laughs> fucking wordle after I said, "Hey, I didn't do my t- oh, I didn't do my wordle today." And I'm pulling up the website. She's so happy. Ooh, and I'm she gonna goes, go do my wordle. Oh, it's blah 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 blah. I'm like, huh? <laughs> I'm like, no, no. But 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 the best thing was Scary's face because Gandhi just blurted out the word, and then there was three seconds where Scary's like, "She's fucking with me." <laughs> yeah. And he kept working on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he realized. And then I typed in that word. Did you do and it, it to her? It. Yeah. Yeah, two, he did that to me. In. A week and a half ago, back when Wordle was brand new, but it was it was just becoming <laughs> a thing. Been well, it's just been around since November. Me, I ahead. gave it away on the air, yeah. and fe- unfortunately, and I didn't know it would piss so many people off. So I'm like, all right, from here on out, I'm gonna treat Wordle like a spoiler, a spoiler alert. I'm not gonna give it out. I'm not. I'm just gonna be quiet because I, so many people are into this thing. So. We should know better now. <laughs> I did know better. I just really wanted to get you back. I told the listeners I would seek vengeance for all of them, for myself, for Nate, all yeah. of us. So now we're even now. I will not fuck up Wordle for you anymore. Truth. I did fuck Truth. over a lot of people that day. Okay. Well, we let's did. pause this argument really quick. And anybody else pissed off at anybody? Well, hold on. Bro- Brody's got his hand up. I think he went and got his <laughs> temperature measuring yeah. device. Yeah. I did. So, okay. <laughs> Exactly. No, 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 no. I turned on. I turned back on the thermostat, and I got a temperature. So let's go around. Let's go around the Zoom room and guess what my temperature is in this part of the house. Fifty-eight. Okay, Scott says fifty-eight. Forty-seven. Okay, I'm gonna go what? fifty-six. All right. I don't think it's Ladies? as cold as you think. I, I think, think it's 60, sixty. I think it's sixty-two. Sixty-two. I'm gonna say thirty-five. Whoa. No. Okay. <laughs> Can't get that low. Well, I'm gonna go fifty. One of you. Fifty. Ooh. One of you got it exactly right. Oh. Nate with 56. Hot damn! Hey, yeah. Good job, wow. Nate. By so the way, that's what like I keep it at my house constantly, regardless oh, if it's working or not. Oh, bastard. <laughs> You're the worst. Oh, that's insane. Nate. Well, maybe you'll all yeah. appreciate this. So this is my father in Tampa inside their home where they keep it at like 70, 72 degrees. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Taking a nap. <laughs> 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 Two degrees inside the yeah. house. That is I, how he's living. It he looks the like he's vest. bobsledding. Oh. Uh, no. Oh, oh, my God. That so reminds me so of my crazy. dad. My dad does the same thing. I, I show up and my parents are sitting in coats and stuff. And I'm like, why are you? It's, and it's freezing in the house. Because they don't want to turn on the heat. They don't want to pay and the, for and it. And the thermostat's down to 68 by their choice. I'm like, guys, <laughs> just turn the fucking thing up to 75 and you can take off the, the mittens. No, my dad does that. My dad will come over and he's the got two, two pair of socks on. And he and he'll get um. Do you have a blanket I can wrap myself up in? I'm like, yeah. And he'll go. He always says this. It's a little airish in here. I'm like, if it's cold, it's cold. 
Eras. And then I asked my mom why she's in in, in, a, in a slanket, and she goes, I don't know. Ask your, ask your father. Ask your father. He why. won't put the heat on. <laughs> your father. That's Come what it on. always is. Your father won't put the heat on. <laughs> that's what Nate does. Nate said he controls the heat from his phone. Hey, and, I just and Heather that... tries to go above sixty-two. It's hey, over. Man, I just turned that shit on eco mode. I'm like, <laughs> wait. Do you remember Daddy's Home 2? Yeah. Where in the middle of the night, they're all sweating like crazy because one of the people's daughters came out and turned the thermostat. And, and all the men are gathered around the thermostat and they're like, this is this cannot happen. Oh. <laughs> you need to take control right now. It was like a whole That question. happened in my house the other night. Heather turned God. it up one degree and I wake up and I had the sweat Sweating. thing. Right. Yeah. Like the sweat. The V-neck sweat. <laughs> one degree. One degree. And I'm like, what did you do? She goes, it was one degree. I go, I'm look at me. I'm sweating here. I had um, butt sweat, the bee sweat. I have a question. You might want to have goodness. that checked out by a doctor. Do yeah. anybody yeah. else's parents argue constantly? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Mine my does. parents are the reason I will never get married. Okay. I tell them that all the time. <laughs> like, oh is this, this what that is? No. I looked you. at my parents the other day and I go, was there ever a day you guys got along? Because I'm yeah. 40 some years old, 46, and... I don't ever recall a time where they've like consistently like liked each other and gotten along. Something. Like, <laughs> How did you guys get married? Because you don't ever get right. along. How uh, were you conceived? Not yeah. that you really want to know that. Right. But still, they had to. Like, I don't think Danielle and I mean, you and Sheldon argue that much. Uh, we. I mean, we definitely argue, but we'll. Have we're you met pretty Danielle good at going. No? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's their here's hey. their argument. Our marriage is great. No, our marriage is fantastic. No, no our marriage is great. No, no. Well, I mean, Frog, um, Frog, you're kind of on your way. We, yeah. Uh, yeah, Frog. <laughs> we didn't want to say. But Can we get Caden on the phone here real quick? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, we at least get along. Like, we, we do have days where we get along pretty good. It's just, you know, yeah. she does dumb things like buy when a you're in New York? tuna strainer. And I'm like, we don't need that. <laughs> We have days where, like, you know, we're a couple of days where he's he's worse than I am with holding a grudge. He won't talk to you for a couple of days. Like, I'm like a goldfish. Woo! Everything's great! He's like... <laughs> Is that a he's British like, thing? But he's like, well, my dad was like this. My parents didn't argue at all, practically, because my mom, one, she said, I just know how to deal with your father. And then she would say, <laughs> he forgets about it five minutes later. And then that's what would happen. They'd have an argument. He'd go in another room. He'd come in the next the room... And he would just forget what they argued about. Everything would be fine. I was like, that's that's awesome. So I try to do that as much as I can, although I get in trouble for it sometimes. So Because <laughs> they're like, Danielle, we need to talk about this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you're the one who needs to thing, apologize. Though, like, you're like, yeah, yeah. Well, this, this is over already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nate, you're right. Go ahead with what you were saying. I, I, think, I think this you're... is a guy thing when you just kind of like, you, 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 I wouldn't say hold a grudge. I just haven't gotten over it yet. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I but mean? Sometimes it's like, dude, it's three days later. Like, what? Yeah, but maybe I haven't told you all the things you did wrong yet. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that might notes. be the guy thing, too. Notes. Like, women will talk about, okay, this is what upset me. This is why you upset me. Let's have a discussion. And guys are like, I don't want to talk about it. It's stressing me out. And then you just hold all that anger instead yeah. of actually trying to work it out and talk through maybe some uncomfortable emotions or Two feelings. strokes. Two strokes. No. Stop it. <laughs> Unresolved arguments. Well, I want to make sorry. sure that I know. <laughs> what, what? I want to make sure you're not going to do oh, it that's again not funny. before I'm going to get over it. Like, if you did something to piss me off, oh. I want to make sure that it's not going to happen again before I'm just going to get over it. If you're just going to do the mm. same shit again, then I'm not getting over it. See, I believe if you say I'm sorry, it should be over and nobody mentions it again. So that's it. If I say, yeah, you know what? I was wrong. I'm sorry. It would be great if everyone involved would just go, oh, okay. But it doesn't work that way. That's no. How it works. no, it doesn't work no. that way. Mm -mm. I would like clean slate. <laughs> sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're done. No, they got to keep that dead horse, Brody. Sometimes that horse is not dead yet. You got to keep it. <laughs> no. No. And my life my in problem. You just said you beat the dead horse. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> See, my problem is, is that Sheldon is good at, he really is good at if something's bothering him, at least we talk about it. I'm the one who will keep it in the back of my mind and then bring it up three months later. And he's just like, what, what, what? Why is this coming up now? Like, I'm like, yeah, but you're right. This, and I bring it up at the worst time. Like, we're arguing about something else and I'll throw it in. And he's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. That's expired. Yeah, yeah right. exactly. No, no, no. no. Yep, you Women do the plunger argument. You bring up that old shit. <laughs> that yep. Women have that, 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 that mental diary <laughs> where it. they go, oh, yeah, remember uh, February mm -hmm. 2nd, 2021, when you were late? At 3.56 oh. uh, a.m.? Right. Like, yeah. I haven't been late for a dinner for a while. You were late six dinners ago. What? <laughs> At least it well, I according to really... Froggy, you did it again. Well, right. yeah. <laughs> but, and six years later, At least you did right. it. I really, I, I really made a huge screw up in our relationship back in 2001. 
I can tell mm-hmm. you that shit still gets brought up every now and then. <laughs> and I'm like, yep. you realize that was 21 years ago, right? Like, I haven't done yeah. it again since then. So Still. Oh. Nope. The word never is use fresh. The words, never use the words, I've never done blank, because they will remember you did. Mm-hmm. So j- just go, I don't often, because that's, that's at least safe. All right. So then you go, I've never done that. Really? Here's the three times you did. <laughs> right. right. Let me let me write pull it out down. my notes. Yeah, I'll yeah. write it down next time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. R- raise your hand. This is the last question. Raise your hand if you think your spouse or significant significant other listening to this podcast will start an argument. Right here. Hey. <laughs> All right. Hundred percent. I actually was thinking I might go say, "Hey, honey, don't listen to the podcast," <laughs> which is only going to make them listen and then come at you like, no, "Well, okay. but my, but my son Spencer watches it every day, so he'll go, "Dad, did oh. you see the podcast?" This is going to happen. Damn it. Just keep going all day, and then that was shit for just to listen to us. All right. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.